Hi all, this is Maylene Velasquez. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and a registered play therapist. And today I wanted to bring you another strategy to use with your child clients. The strategy that I'm hoping to discuss is called a tree of feelings. So with this tool, what you're gonna need is some paper, some pencils or some color pencils, um, whatever your client might have available for them in order to do an expressive drawing activity. With the tree of feelings, you're gonna have the client think about an emotion that they wanna have more of in their lives, and then you're gonna have them draw a tree on a piece of paper. The different parts of the tree are gonna represent different aspects of that emotion. So at the top of the tree, you're gonna have the fruit, which is gonna be the emotion that they wanna grow. At the bottom of the tree, you're gonna have the roots, which are the things that are necessary for survival and for this emotion to remain present in their lives. On the side of the tree, you're gonna have the client think about what is it that needs to happen in order for this tree or this emotion to grow. I have here an example of an activity that I did that I wanted to share with all of you so that you know how to translate this into the work with the client and what it's supposed to look like. So here's my tree of feelings. As you can see at the top, um, you see these little circles which represent the feeling or emotion that I wanna see more of. Uh, the feeling that I wanna personally grow, it's calm. And so I represented it through a circle. You can have your clients represented using lines, shapes, colors, words, whatever they want to pick. Um, it's fine as long as it works for them. So this is a way that we give them that freedom to be able to express themselves. At the bottom, um, as you can see, my, my drawing is pretty simple. At the bottom, I have the roots. And so you want them to think about what is necessary for survival. So for me, I wanna think of things like my mentors, my family, my friends, things that are really important for me. Um, on the side are the things that are necessary to make this tree grow. So to make this emotion uh, become larger and more present in their lives. So for me, I have compassion, patience, love, education, and persistence. Another step that I like to take is I want um, to draw a hollow in the tree. And I ask clients if this tree can speak, what would it say to you? And so for me, this tree would say, you got this. And so you can have the client represent what is it that they need for this tree, for this emotion to say to them. And so this is a little bit of an affirmation that I like to bring in into this exercise. The next thing that we wanna think about is processing questions for the exercise. So you wanna think about, you know, as you were drawing this activity with me. What was it like for you to create it? What emotions came up for you? And if anything came up for you, I want you to notice your body and notice if you feel that emotion any place in your body. Another thing that I like to ask is I want to check in as to how often does this feeling come in your life? And when you do experience this emotion in your life, can you notice what are some of the activating events that created? What circumstances are happening? Who is around your life? What are you doing? Can you think about the last time you felt this way? And can you tell me a little bit about what was going on, what you were feeling, what happened, and maybe even what happened afterwards? So this is a really good way to bridge that gap of understanding the way that we're feeling and the way that we want to feel and helping to understand what is the discrepancy and what is missing and how do we help our clients then create a bridge between what they're feeling right now what's showing up for them and what they actually want to be able to feel and create so with that you're also helping clients to differentiate what is it that we're able to control or change in our lives? And what are we not able to control and change in our lives? For example, if we think back of the roots, there might be some people in their lives that are really gonna help shape 
the way that that they feel for example if it's a parent and they want to have a stronger relationship with their parent and we're talking about a teenager so what is it that they can do to strengthen that relationship to reach out to their parents to let them know when they're having a tough time and then if we're talking about something like depression or anxiety that they don't want to feel then what is it that they can do? What tools and what strategies can you then you work with your client on teaching them so that they're able to activate some of those post positive coping strategies and that they're able to create a more sense of calm or whatever emotion it is that they want to create in their lives. So this was the tree of feelings exercise. I hope that it was useful and helpful in your practice. I would love to hear how you're applying it. Feel free to change it to meet your needs. And if there's anything else that you would like to hear, please let me know. Thank you so much. Bye.